Go. Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today we're going to install the K24 along with the transmission. Um, we're going to do a step by step on how to put the transmission to the back of the engine by putting on the clutch, flywheel, and then of course holding it to the engine itself. Uh, we're going to do a step by step presentation on how to do this and the install and you know all the stuff that goes and requires to do this. So hopefully just get this motor in today. I'm not looking to hook anything up. Just get it in, set it in, motor mounts and, and, and all that. This is going to be the first time the engine is off this stand in like three or four months. Am I correct? No, yeah, longer than that. Longer than that? Yeah. Pretty sure it's it's been out of commission since uh, October, I, I believe. No, no, I shouldn't say that. It's been it's been a little while, but it hasn't. It's been longer than three months, definitely. Um, make sure that we got access to the back of the engine. So we're at the point now where we're putting, we just put the heat shield on, the transmission casing, and then we're, we're now installing the flywheel. Um, use thread locker, that's what we're doing here. Red Loctite. Red Loctite, it's high temperature. It's just, it's a good safety precaution for when you're putting bolts back in that they don't run the risk of loosening up again once they're put in for good. And also these are getting torqued down to 105 foot-pounds yep. once they are all in. Now in order to do this, to keep the flywheel from spinning, we had to have Dan over here on the crank. <laughs> Otherwise the flywheel would just spin and we wouldn't get to torque them down. So. We got some friction down here by putting the flywheel on the tire, but we needed Dan up on the crank with a with a wrench on there, so. Yeah. <coughs> and for anybody who's wondering, I did get a stage two clutch from competition clutch. And I got a Fidanza lightweight flywheel. I wanted to try and lighten a few things up. I was actually going to try and get a um, harmonic balancer and a lightweight pulley, but, you know, I think it'll be alright. Now the alignment tool comes out. And now it's ready for the transmission. No, we don't have a transmission jack. So piece of... Yeah. Oh man, that looks awesome. All right, before we put the motor and transmission in the car, the hood's got to come off. Does it really? Yeah, it's it's gonna hit, dude. Probably headlights, front windshield. Oh, the hatch. The hatch, the has, hatch to, has to come off. Has to Everything has to come off the car for the motor to go in. Seats start to come out. These doors have to come off. Where are you going? Watch your... It's going, we're going down on Eric. Alright. Take it back behind you, buddy. So anyway, um, got the car, I think, positioned where we need to have it to angle this transmission and engine enough to slide her in place. Um, we had a hell of a time getting the old engine mounts out. We ended up spending about probably an hour and a half on both of them, so kind of tired about that. But we're at the point now where we can get the engine in the car, so let's try and get this done. Are we using jack stands at all? No, actually, well, this isn't this isn't preferred, but we're using cinder blocks under the wheel so that the suspension gives a little bit. That we can get it off the ground enough to get the engine in the, in the car, but it was up too high before, so we had to take it off jack stands. So. But ingenuity kicked in, right guys? Oh yeah. We got this shit. Dude can do it. Alright. The 
Okay, hold it. So I need to hold this right here. Move forward. Forward, 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 forward. Forward. Oops, sorry. Alright. Keep going back, Mike. Where did it hit, Eric? Firewall. Did it chip it up? Hey, Eric, we had a question Ooh. for you. Cars are required to have firewalls, right? What about conversion bands? Okay, hold it. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. 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 Alright, the motor is in position. We gotta get the mounts. We'll get the passenger side first. The mounts, like, virtually in. The motor is in the car. Oh my gosh. Finally. After how many months? Plenty of room. Plenty of room. That motor mounts in. That motor mounts in. What do you think? It's still never gonna run again. Hey. <laughs> I'm joking. So now what? What do we gotta do now? Yeah, we don't know. Take shit off, clean up, and start hooking stuff up. Get your mount screen. Wait. Get your rear mount in. Let's hook up the transmission mount. Yeah, it has to happen too. What a load of fun this was, Freddie. Um, Lots of fun, dude. She's in. She's in. She's in. I'm, I'm super excited right now. I know it did look like I was at the beginning of the video, but that's because I knew there was a lot of work to do before this motor actually got in place. Like what? <laughs> like the motor mounts. The motor mounts were a pain in the butt. Just getting, just getting the old ones off. Yeah, the new ones, I mean, they go right on. So... Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited right now. So we're just gonna finish button up this, uh, button up this engine bay here, and hopefully call it a night here soon. But um, we're not gonna show you guys how to hook everything back up. All it is, is clips and sensors and boring stuff. Yeah, just boring stuff. So thanks for watching this episode of Four Man Mods. We'll catch you next time. See. You.